and you're watching the Daily Grind. How do you feel about Tinder Crate? It's like Monsters Inc. and it's Sully and that slithering dude all together. All the big ass bad monsters all together just all came out and just like wrecked us. Now in these next few segments, I don't want you guys to get confused that we're complaining about the amount of work we have. It's more of explaining to you guys what goes on in Tuna Crate. In order for you guys to understand what is involved in owning a business and all the logistical crazy part, it's not just simply having a t-shirt and having a design, it's marketing, email, logistics, taxes, and bills. So the point of me showing you all this is to give you a really deep inside look of Tuna Crate. And when I say deep, it's still just the surface of it because there's so much more involved in everything that I do. You get what I'm saying? All right, back to the video. What's up? What up? <laughs> Tuna Crate was like, it was a, a project that kind of came to me all of a sudden. It was like, woke up and it was, I, I need to do this. I need to do this right now. And it was on a Saturday. It, uh, man, I, I'm surprised like it, it took off this way, but holy freaking crap. Probably my biggest achievement to date. If you guys want to know how much work is involved in Tuna Crate and like the whole production process and shipping it out to you guys, it's insane. Like unfathomably insane it took a lot the, the biggest problem we have is it's multiple pieces and multiple parts so you guys think it's one shirt or two shirts it's keychains yeah, there's keychains even with the shirt it's it's a back print it's a front print it's a neck label it's a tag and then there's a whole stickers stickers toys the cars the boxes the print on the boxes and then multiply that by like the thousands and it's literally like death, zombies. If you guys can think of Tuner Crate, it's like dropping a season every single month. Because most clothing brands have a single of like, or season of five or six designs and accessories. But Tuner Crate has that every single month. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's kind of crazy. It's super crazy. Oh. And then, I understand you guys like want to get your product ASAP. I would too if I buy stuff, but sometimes it's not even our fault. Like sometimes our products doesn't even get here on time. And if they do get here on time, it's like fucked up. So we have to like reorder and re-get it and then repackage it to ship it out to you guys. And then there's like some people that don't even want to put in the hours to work in here. So that puts us behind too. If you guys want to know the hours, uh, me and Mike were working 24 hour shifts. So I would get off at like, 2 or 3 a.m. and Mike would come in at 4 a.m. to like 10 a.m. and then I would relieve him at 10 a.m. to like 4 or 5 p.m. and then we would did we even take a break mm -mm. we would eat and then we would work again until like 2 a.m. and then we just flip that over and over and over again that was March March Madness that thing was insane but yeah still got it out to you guys I think one of the biggest things that I, I really, really enjoy is the 
all the unboxing videos, like oh, that's unboxing right. videos, the tags from the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the like emails and the DMs on the good side at least. <laughs> but like to see you guys open the crate and go, this is exactly what I expected plus more. That makes me happy because like I literally, when we package and we design these things, I'm like just fingers crossed that you guys actually like what you guys get. And it's like a gamble. I can design this beautiful design, but if you guys are like, it might be nice to me, but not to you, we, we're effed. So me seeing you guys like open it, wow. excited, <laughs> all this hmm, makes it worth it. And it re-energizes us, at least for me, to do it again the next month and again. And we raise the bar every single month. Mike has cameras set up around here, so sometimes I'm just gonna hide in a corner and pretend that I'm not here so I don't have to work. <laughs> and then he'll text me, he'll like, are you here? And I'll be like, no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about pleasing you guys, so we do what we do. The clothing side is heavy and with the emails like for the most part you guys are pretty nice but dude <laughs> we have and iris handles all the emails now i i have to hand it over to her because i couldn't do evil, it evil evil oh my gosh we have savage emails we have people who i'm like <laughs> who raised you <laughs> like wolves and beasts like yeah it's bad like i'm not gonna say what it is but man it is i would not ever say that to anybody and i guarantee you most of those guys will never say it to my face either so yeah, that's like that's the things those yeah the things that they would say is like i guarantee you they would never say it in front of my face but you guys know this is my second warehouse and like we set it up pretty much perfect for exactly what we needed it but yeah tuna crate just came in was like it was like tornado it was like oh my gosh and you guys know how i feel about like things tornado. being organized and but Tuner Crate just came in and it was just like, this is my area <laughs> and uh, I do what I want. And uh, fast forward three months and we finally reorganized everything to make it flow again. Yeah, finally. But, yeah, finally. I, I like the setup right now. Yeah, I like it. Back to being, I guess I would go on the, the grateful part as in Happy Mike took me under his wing of trying to manage this thing and entrepreneuring and with starting up Swolebox and my own YouTube channel, which has both taken a little pause. but. Um, it was unexpected of the workload, but I'm happy that I stuck it out and was able to, you know, try to manage my time to be able to push it and to do this. And I think for me, it's, it's something I'm proud of and a great achievement for myself being able to, you know, just suck it up and balls out and just put in hours of working here and still doing like PT and stuff like that. It's good. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of what we've created and the products that we have. <laughs> Talking about the lighting, how tired I look. I'm blaming it on the sun, but it's actually how tired I look all the time. Seriously guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you guys like this inside Tuner Crate, inside Primal, inside Tiger Tires, I'm more than happy to make them. But this kind of gives you just a, like a scratch of the surface of the stuff we dealt with. And for the most part, you guys are amazingly supportive even with all the delays and all the crap we went through. So big thank you to all the members of Tuner Crate all the members that stay with Tuner Crate. And honestly, thank you so much to my crew, Mike, Iris, Adam that comes in. Um, 
you guys are, are, are great, strong team. And that's kind of what I'm building to is building a strong foundation of my team to make everything that I have up here real. And I can present it to you guys with that mind, that imagination of quality that I have in my, this crazy big ass dome of mine. So thank you so much for joining me with this journey. If you guys wanna see more of this, let me know. Like the video, comment. And I'll put most of these on the new Mike Wynn Media channel. And thank you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I will talk to you guys later. And uh, till next time. Later guys. <laughs>